There's a dangerous new car threat that has to do with hacking your tire pressure monitoring remotely. Now, what does that really mean? There's a new vector in hacking your car's computer wirelessly. Tire pressure monitoring systems known as TPMS, which shows you that light on the dash and aggravates people when it's cold outside and your tire pressure is low. It's a safety feature that has been mandatory in all cars since 2008. Tire pressure monitors are installed in each tire and it monitors your air tire pressure and it alerts you when the tire pressure is low, typically about 10% below the threshold, which is that number inside your driver's door, which is the correct tire pressure for your vehicle. Now, while TPMS has improved safety on the roads, it's also become a target for hackers. So it turns out that the attack potential is huge. And in the US, the TREAD Act, which mandated that every car built in 2008 and on must have tire pressure monitoring systems built in also turns out that car tire pressure monitors use unencrypted radio frequencies for the communication between the tire and the receiver which is your center screen or the gauge in front of you we are all familiar with that light that seems to never go out it's typically yellow if it's red that means you have a much bigger problem but this typically refers to a flat tire or a tire that's low in tire pressure and the tire is going to wear out prematurely and it can reduce fuel economy it reduces traction and it certainly impacts your safety so how can hackers get your computer's tire pressure monitoring system and what does this really mean? Well, this can be done in several ways, such as intercepting that wireless signal sent between the sensors and the vehicle's computer, or by physically accessing the sensors and replacing them or modifying them, which they can do. Now, once a hacker gains access to your vehicle's TPMS, they can send false data to the vehicle's computer, such as indicating that the tire pressure is high or that it's low, which is typically when that light goes on, but this can cause the vehicle to malfunction and even cause an accident. At first, you may not think this is a big deal. Who cares? I ignore that light anyhow. It's just a tire pressure monitoring system. Sure, it's annoying, but whatever. Well, this is where you really do want to know. You may not think that it makes a difference and you do ignore that light. Well, those radio frequencies are connected to your computer's ECU. And the ECU is the computer that controls almost all the functions of your vehicles, whether it's an EV, a hybrid, or gas. Everything from fuel injection, exhaust, fuel mix, electricity, engine stats, timing, electric car drivability, and a lot more that's controlled through your engine's electronic computer unit. Now, another scary thing that is the radio frequency receiver that talks to those sensors on each tire is usually the same RF signal that talks to your remote key fob to open the doors and disarm your security system. And TPMS is made up of four or five sensors, four if you're not using a spare, five if you actually have a spare. So that gives the hackers some access to your vehicle and each sensor is located inside the tire right at the valve stem. So what are the risks of TPMS hacking? Well, vehicle safety. TPMS hackers can compromise the safety of vehicle by causing incorrect tire pressure readings, which can lead to an accident or tire blowouts. It can also access your data and take away your privacy. TPMS systems can transmit that data from the vehicle to its location and maybe even give them your driving habits. Hackers can intercept this data and use it for malicious purposes, such as stealing your vehicle or spying on you. Lovely, exactly what we need, more hacking. But cybersecurity experts say that TPMS hacking can be used in a way to gain access to other systems within the vehicle, such as the engine or the brakes. And this can lead to complete control of a vehicle by the hacker. Now we don't have full documentation on that, but we're told that this has happened. And again, we're still looking for more data and we'll report on that as soon as we get more. So what can you do to stop the hackers? TPMS hacking is a serious threat to vehicle safety and data privacy. You should be as cautious on your car's vehicle security as you would be for public Wi-Fi. Keep your vehicle up to date and use the TPMS encryption and you can reduce the risk of TPMS hacking. Additionally, installing these alarms that you can put on your tires to begin mindful and physical security can help detect any hacking attempts and prevent unauthorized access to your vehicle's TPMS system. You can also change passwords, which a lot of people don't. They buy the vehicle and they just leave it, goes to the next owner, and they never change it. 
So next time that annoying low tire pressure light kicks on, check your tire pressure against the number inside your driver's drawer with a dial gauge or a digital gauge. They cost around $10 and it will save you from a real disaster. If the tire pressures are good, hackers accessing your car's ECU could lead to bigger issues. And if possible, this would allow for all sorts of nastiness like shutting off your car that's running, damaging your engine by setting up bad valve timing in the ECU, creating power issues, etc. Just so you are in the know, modern ECUs sometimes include features such as cruise control, transmission controls, anti-skid braking control, and anti-theft devices, which is on many vehicles. TPMS hacking is relatively new phenomenon, but as vehicles become more connected and we rely more on these electronic systems, the importance of these types of issues will only continue to grow. Make sure that if you have a problem, see your ASE certified mechanic, change the passwords if you can, and if you're really concerned, find a mechanic or go to your favorite dealer and have them check it out. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out our car review channel, Car Smarts. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. And if you want even more content, check out the links in the description. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.